welcome, Ahlan Mas uh, This is Love Dingus, and I'm back with another reaction video, music reaction video. Um, this one was recommended to me by my brother, my eldest brother. Uh, not for a reaction video, he just recommended me the song. But um, the funny thing is, I actually already shot a video of. A different song he sent me but the audio is uh, pretty dumb I had to troubleshoot and I fixed it so now my voice is not gonna be only in the left channel and it will be centered so uh, what are we doing so this is the Smiths heaven as I'm miserable now we have the music video here um, I guess I could react to that too but I'm gonna be providing and you a viewer um, a a look at how I perceive music when I hear it for the first time and um, what I think about and um, things I notice and I'll describe I like to analyze stuff so I'll describe how um, the song is composed and all that so let's get into it oh I like that Happy in the haze of a drunken oh, like hour, but heaven knows I'm miserable now. I was looking for a job, and then I found a job, and heaven knows I'm miserable now in my life. Why do I give valuable time to people who don't care if I? Okay, I will say, uh, I really like the guitar. Um, I like a nice, good rhythm guitar, and it's not super overbearing. It's not like it's th they're not they're not stepping on the vocalist, you know. And I like that part, uh, that fill they kind of did there, um, because it was just that it was it was not like in your face, you know. It's just kind of like yeah, you know, smooth, we're grooving. Um, what else? So the song's in F sharp. And I like the intro because the song is in the major, F sharp major, um, which doesn't have a um, the note D in it, but in the intro they went to a D chord, which was really cool. So they were they were going out of the key for a little bit to make it sound uh, funky. And it's got a good beat to it, you know, it's, it's got a good, uh, good, I mean, it's got rhythm guitar and funky beat, so I like it so far. Pass me by, and heaven knows I'm miserable now. I was looking for a job, and then I found a job, and heaven knows I'm miserable now. In my life, oh, why do I give valuable time to... Okay, I just realized something. So the song is about being miserable, but it's like very upbeat and happy, which I think is interesting because it's it's kind of probably just like to um, not not to say that this is what they were doing. But my interpretation of that is it's like it shows um, how people cope when they're sad, you know, like people put on a mask to hide how they truly feel. And so I think that that's an interesting um, device they've used with the song. People who don't care if I and to clarify, those of you who may or may not know, a major song usually sound happy, um, so that's what it means. Like the song sounds bright and colorful and, and happy and nice, but it's about like suffering. So I presume it's about suffering. There's a D chord right there, right there. And I mentioned. Wait, what the? Okay, I'm a bass player, so I I was looking to see if what he was playing matched 
what he we could see um and it looks like so right here he's playing a note of a b which would be the second fret on his a string or a, a different fret on his lowest string but he's not playing that he's playing the first fret and then that's the second fret so that would mean that wait that doesn't make sense is that the second fret hang on i need to look again Okay, he could be playing the string open, and he just has his hand there. So it could he could have tuned his string up to a B, which is interesting. Um, I've never heard of that before. That's possible. Either that, or they're just you know they're just um, BSing it for the video. What she asked of me at the end of the day, Caligula would have blushed. Oh, you've been in the house too long, she said. And I naturally fled in my Oh, I just noticed something in the video. This guy's wearing earplugs. Wait. Naturally fled. He's only wearing one earplug? Either that or it's like a I guess a monitor so he can hear what he's what he sounds like. But shout outs if you if it's an earplug, you know, shout outs to that. Um when you're performing, you gotta protect your ears because that can be very loud. So I'm definitely in favor of that. Um, in the past, I have done the same thing. When I go to concerts, I bring my earplugs. So um, protect your hearing, people. And it is something that is um, people are destroying now, especially the youth. And I am not. I am not exaggerating when I say that. I actually have worked in a high school. I'm gonna be a high school teacher, and a lot of students that I've had will listen to music in their airpods and if you can hear it outside of them like i could hear the music that they're listening to then that is way too loud and so protect your hearing people like that's that's my that's my take on this subject i don't even know if that's an earplug that he's wearing but that's my take in my life why do i guy's got a pompadour <laughs> i just realized this is some this is some goofy stuff man but it's not like bad it's just you know it matches it definitely matches what the the aesthetic of the song is Interesting, interesting way to end it. Did not end traditionally. So what I wonder is if this was an actual like performance and when it was taken. So I'm gonna look here. I, I don't know. I could look it up, but um, so I wonder if this is this is this is a music video so it's not the recording i'm assuming the recording i'm listening is the official recording and then this is the music video to you know to promote the the recording um but i wonder i really wonder why that bass player was playing that like that um makes me wonder if this is all like a charade you know this video like everybody in the crowd is just like all right you know but <laughs> I, have, I have no idea um, which is, is like, I guess a good thing. Um, but 
Let me think. Okay, so what what are my thoughts? Um, so it's an F sharp. I could analyze the A section pretty quick. So yeah, it goes F sharp to I guess D sharp. I I prefer to say E flat. F sharp. E flat. Let me turn it down. It's A flat. So the bass player and then it kind of walks down chromatically to the A flat. To F sharp to the five so c sharp um and so that's the classical traditional um cadence as it's called it's called an authentic cadence but like it's very very common you will hear it all the time in songs so right there oh shoot okay Dun -dun. I can't sing that. Uh, uh, that's what it does. So that happens. Um, but the song, as I was saying, does not end like that, which I think is pretty interesting. I think it's cool. The D chord? Yeah. Okay, so they end on like a E over B, so like an inverted B chord, inverted E chord. Yeah, B like E over B. That's interesting. Um, I think. So they got F sharp, G sharp, on the guitar. Those are the, some of the two notes, and then the guitar is on a B, or the bass guitar is on a B. So yeah, they're 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 not there, but they're the uh, that doesn't matter. Those are the details don't really matter. But basically, um, to summarize, they're not ending on the main chord of the like bulk of the song, like the meat chord of the song, which is that F sharp. So I think that's pretty interesting, and um, I think that's cool. Uh, well, let's see. What are my, what are some of the thoughts? It's definitely a song, you know, that makes you want to dance. It's got a good, strong beat, funky. You know, that bass player, he was doing some nice fills. And, um, it's interesting. And this is actually a concept I think about a lot. Um, and it refers to what I'm referring to what I was saying earlier about how it says, like, he's miserable and stuff. But the song is happy, and traditionally, if you're gonna talk about like sadness, you don't play major songs; you play minor songs. And what I think about is how normally people play minor music to emphasize that they're sad. But the cool thing, my one of my favorite things about funk music, is that funk is often in minor. But it makes people feel really happy, and it's like really happy sounding, which is interesting. It's like, um, I guess it's kind of just like, it's just if if you go outside the norm and you you can go outside the norm and it will work in certain situations um, in ways you would not expect. So I think that's pretty cool, and I think this song does an interesting job of that. And um, I honestly like I like this song. I I probably give it a seven out of ten, which is not normally what I like. If I and the average score being a five, and normally when I think <clears throat> positively of a song, I give I usually give it a six. So I would even give this song a seven, um, which is a solid score for me, I would think. And um, how would I? Um, What's the criteria? I would just say mostly songs that I really listen to a lot I are in like the 9, 8, 9, 10 range. So this is a song that I would maybe listen to again on my own accord. Um, and it, it definitely is like getting there for sure. Um, so yeah. Um, if there is any other songs you would like me to react or analyze... Um, I'd let me know in the comments or don't do whatever you want. If that's something you want to do, then do it. Um, 
And yeah, I, I had a fun time doing this video. So hopefully um, everyone else enjoyed it too. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time.